Okay, so let's move on to question number 13. How many atoms are there in an 18 gram ma uh, mass of glucose? So first, uh, I'm gonna write out the structure of glucose so that we can figure out its chemical equation to then calculate its molar mass. Okay, so as we know, glucose is one of the main sugars that is found in food and in our bodies. And it's this cyclic compound that contains many alcohol groups. And we can write out its formula as C6H12. So there are 12 oxygens and there are six oxygens. So, I need to first find out the molar mass of glucose. So I'm going to write down the molar masses of all of the elements in glucose. So the molar mass of carbon is 12.01. Molar mass of hydrogen is 1.01. .01. And the molar mass of oxygen is 15.99. So these are all of the values that you would just find on your periodic table. So now to calculate the molar mass of glucose, it's just going to be six times the molar mass of carbon, since there are six carbons, 12 times the molar mass of hydrogen, plus six times the molar mass of oxygen, now I'm just going to sub in these values, 6 times 12.01 plus 12 times 1.01 .01 plus 6 times 15.99. Okay, so if we calculate all of this, we end up getting a final molar mass of glucose, which is 180.16 grams per mole. Okay, so since we know the molar mass of glucose, and we also know the mass of glucose, we first need to calculate the number of moles. I'll make this step one. And step two of this question is to find out the number of moles of glucose. So we can find the number of moles by using the equation on N equals mass over molar mass. So the mass in the question was 18 grams, and the molar mass of glucose is what we calculated in the previous step, 180.16 grams per mole. And we, when we divide it all out, you'll notice the grams will cancel out, and we're left with a value in moles, which is 0 0.10 moles. But the question is asking how many atoms are there in an 18 gram mass. So for number of atoms, this is when we would use Avogadro's number. So I'm going to write out uh, the number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23, and its units are in atoms per mole. OK, 
Okay, so all we need to do is multiply Avogadro's number by the number of moles that we found in the previous step, which was 0 0.1 moles. And when we multiply the two together, you'll notice that the moles should cancel out and we're left with the number of atoms in the glucose, which is just 6.022 times 10 to the 22 atoms. So it's pretty much moving the decimal one place to the left. And let's see what our junior tutor said. Number of atoms in a given molecule is related to the number of moles it has. For one mole of the molecule, there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms. This is Avogadro's number. First step is to solve, to solve this problem to identify the number of moles in 16, 16, oh, it should be 18 grams of glucose. And then first they calculated the molar mass of glucose, which is around 180.18. Pretty much the same thing, so they use 16 instead of 15.99, but it's still correct. Given 18, yeah, given 18 grams of glucose, convert this to the number of moles. They got 0 0.1. To find the number of atoms, we just multiply this to Avogadro's number, and you get 6.022 times 10 to the 22 atoms. So this solution is correct.